You see, there's this thing about quick news. 60% of the time, it works every time. The Outsiders, an indie studio based in Stockholm, has announced it's cancelled their first game, Darkborn. They released a trailer in 2019 which included gameplay but have come to the decision to cancel the game and work on another project that we have yet to hear anything about but we will very soon. Publisher Nighthawk Interactive and developer Platinum Games have announced that the Wonderful 101 Remastered's physical release has been delayed due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The digital release will still go ahead as planned on May the 19th in North America and May the 22nd in Europe. The physical release, however, will now happen on June the 30th in America and July the 3rd in Europe. Sony has announced the games coming to PlayStation Plus for May, and to put it bluntly, people aren't too happy at all. First up, we have Farming Simulator, which is exactly what you think. You'd be a farmer. The second game is City Skylines. Now, I have this game on the PC, and I absolutely love it. Haven't tried it on the PS4, but apparently it works, so definitely give it a go. The only thing is though, this is definitely not as good as the lineup from last month. In more Sony news, we have a new release date for both The Last of Us Part 2 and Ghost of Tsushima. The Last of Us will now come out on June the 19th, whilst Ghost of Tsushima has been pushed back to July the 17th. These new release dates come not long after Sony delayed The Last of Us indefinitely and comes right after a huge leak online of what is apparently a large part of the story. Now I'm trying to stay away from any spoilers but they're all over the internet, so if you want to go in blind, then be very, very careful out there. The game will also be at least 100 gigabytes, so make sure that you have space on your PS4, and if you buy the physical copy, then it's apparently going to have two discs. WWE have confirmed there won't be a new WWE 2K game this year, but have announced the new WWE Battlegrounds. The new game is an arcade brawler game from Saber Interactive, and has what they're calling an over-the-top superstar design. You can pick the game up in autumn this year. Jeff Keighley, the guy behind the Game Awards, has announced a four-month-long digital gaming fest running from May to August this year. The new festival will be an all-digital consumer celebration of video games featuring breaking news, in-game events, and free playable content. So far, CD Projekt Red, Sony, Microsoft, Riot Games, Digital Extremes, Valve, 2K, Activision, Bandai Namco, Bethesda, Blizzard, Bungie, EA, Square Enix, Private Division and Warner Bros are all confirmed to be taking part. So basically everyone but Nintendo and Ubisoft so far, but they could confirm soon. So far the only other thing announced is that Keeley will be hosting pre and post shows for the flagship event, which will be streamed on Facebook, Mixer, Twitch, Twitter and YouTube. So basically everywhere. Keeley has taken over the summer. Ubisoft has come out and announced the next Assassin's Creed game and it's called Valhalla. The game will be set in 9th century England during the Dark Ages and you'll control Ivor who can be either male or female. You'll be a Viking trying to conquer England and will run across a group of assassins in England at some point during the game. We haven't yet got a full release date as the game is confirmed to be a day one PS5 and Xbox Series X release game. Now it's time for the non-video game news and where better to start than with Star Wars with May the 4th coming up. Disney has announced it has a virtual Star Wars convention planned for the day with announcements and celebrations of the series. The 4th will also be the day that the series finale of The Clone Wars will air on Disney Plus alongside the early release of Rise of the Skywalker on the streaming service. May the 4th be with you. In more Disney news, a Hercules live action remake is in development with the Russo brothers and Shang-Chi writer. The original came out in 1997 and was a smash hit with fans as a great musical action cartoon movie. It hasn't yet been announced if this movie will keep in its musical roots, but this is still quite exciting news. Gearbox Software, the developers behind the Brothers in Arms games, are adapting the franchise into a TV show with Scott Rosenberg as showrunner. The new show will follow eight soldiers as they try to rescue their colonel from the Nazis before they discover the D-Day plans. As of yet, there is no news as to when we can expect the new show, so we'll keep you posted with any news as it comes out. The parent company of Odeon Cinema's AMC Theatres and Cineworld have both announced that they will no longer be showing Universal films in their cinemas. 
This is because of the success of Trolls World Tour, which released on premium video on demand services instead of cinemas because of the pandemic. After the Universal CEO Jeff Shell promised to open titles on premium VOD and cinemas concurrently in the future, which these cinemas owners have said is simply not fair. Normally films have to wait 90 days between cinema release and VOD release so that theatres can get their chance to make money on these films. So this is quite a scary moment for the industry. Depending on which way this argument goes, we could genuinely be seeing the beginning of the end for cinemas. Now it's time for the big game releases of the week, and there's two this week. SnowRunner is out now, and it's simply a trucking simulator. The game is very slow paced, tasking you with delivering items with your various trucks around some incredibly tricky terrain. The game has some great reviews, and it's both relaxing and stressful at the same time, so give it a go. Gears Tactics is out now and has some really good reviews. It takes the Gears of War world and puts XCOM gameplay into it with some great results. The game's really good looking and has a great campaign, so go pick it up if you have an Xbox or a PC because this game is just great to play in lockdown. So do you want more quick news? Well, you can't have any. You'll have to come back next week right here on Huntman Productions.